Finally tonight, uh, I'd like to give you a quick word regarding trains, or as I call them, ground planes. Now, <laughs> you may remember one of our recent and now segments concerns Scranton, Pennsylvania's WNEP. More specifically, their backyard train that runs behind their weather forecasters all year round. It is a charming feature of that newscast, and the people of Scranton have a lot of opinions about it, regularly calling in during their talkback segments. Talkback callers seem to be pretty much obsessed with the train and trolley in our backyard. I would just like to know whose idea it was to put a train in the backyard. I'm calling about your train. Woo woo! Keep the train rolling, baby! Question, what is going on with the train? Why isn't it running? It hasn't been running in weeks. Wah, 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 the train's not running. I wish Senator would put a quarter stick in that train and blow it up. Whoa! Whoa! That level of emotional investment in a toy train set is usually only experienced by middle-aged dads who are divorced or about to get divorced. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. It turns out the people of Scranton saw our segment on them, and the reason I know that is this. Our backyard train getting some national attention. Some folks love it. Some folks feel it's at our area's expense. You know what? I just watched this John Oliver train controversy. This guy, we're not, we're not clowns for his entertainment. I think this guy owes us an apology here in NEPA. Hey, 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 but please, look, first, let me be clear. I do not think that residents of Scranton are clowns for my entertainment. I don't think clowns are for entertainment at all. They are for murder threats, attempted murder, and actual murder. That's it. That's what clowns are for. So, please, please, as well, don't think that I was making fun of your backyard train. I fucking love that backyard train. And I also love how passionate you all are about it. And if you don't believe me, let me prove it to you. Because my only criticism of your train set is that I think you deserve a better one. A bigger one. An almost irresponsibly large one. And that is why, and I hope you don't mind, we have used HBO's resources to make you something truly special. Please, come with me. Because I have something to show you that I'm pretty sure you are going to like. Scranton, look at this. Oh, it's not the train set that Scranton needs, but it is the train set it deserves. This thing spins around, and it has every Scranton landmark that we can find on Google. It's all there. Uh, the Scranton sign is there. The Electric City building, multiple other Scranton landmarks. I know you have a waterfall, that's why this thing has a fucking waterfall as well. There's three levels of trains. There's the Tunkhannock Viaduct at the Penn Paper Building from the office. That's right there. Uh, the Times Building and Radio Tower is there. And of course, of course, what, what we wouldn't miss the Lackawanna Station Hotel and Coal Mine Tour. This thing even has a train tunnel. The shape of Scranton's famous son, basketball coach PJ Carlissimo. I mean, look at this beautiful thing, Scranton. We built it for you. Seriously. This is yours now. You need to come and get it. It can't stay here. So please, WNEP, call us to arrange pickup or delivery of the greatest backyard train that local news has ever seen. Oh, that's right. This thing also catches fire. I forgot about that. That's something you should probably know. That's our show tonight. Thank you so much for watching. We're off next week because of the Emmys. We'll see you two weeks' time. Good night. It's your strength!